Israeli airstrikes in northern Gaza overnight killing more than 20 people. This is all according to the Palestinian authorities. Now, this is coming as Israel issues another evacuation order for northern Gaza. They've, in fact, dropped leaflets urging residents to get out ahead of the military operations. This all happening as aid workers say airstrikes have trapped thousands of Palestinians in the area. And happening right now in Lebanon, outrage over Israel's airstrikes in central Beirut. Lebanese authorities are reporting 22 are dead, more than 100 are injured. Israel saying it only struck Hezbollah militants and rocket launchers in southern Lebanon. And the acting prime minister for Lebanon now proposing a desperate plan to bring peace to his country. He's calling for a decades-old UN resolution that calls for Israel and Hezbollah to fully disarm in Lebanon. Joining me now is Sam McNeil in Haifa, Israel, with the Associated Press. Sam, what more can you tell us about these Israeli airstrikes in northern Gaza, and what more can you tell us about the evacuation orders? There were two airstrikes. The first uh, created a 65-foot hole uh, in where it used to be a residential building and killed 22 people at least, uh, including women and children. The second one was just this afternoon, uh, and it killed four uh, family members, um, including one woman. Um, so the, the military campaign in northern Gaza has been increasing over the past week. The Israelis have been uh, launching this new operation there. And the evacuation orders, we have to remember, come on months, a year of previous other evacuation orders. So we know there's about 400,000 people in the north of Gaza Strip, but 90 percent of Gaza's 2.3 million people are displaced because of this war. And once again, they're having to put everything on their backs, their kids in carts, and finding a way to get out of the chaotic violence of that area. We know that the Lebanese prime minister proposed a ceasefire on Friday. What more can you tell us about that? The proposal is really to go back uh, to 2006 when Israel and Hezbollah or Lebanon fought a war previously, uh, and the the idea was to basically have Hezbollah pull out north of the Latani River and have the Lebanese army goes in. This fits exactly with what uh, the U.S. President Biden has been calling for. The State Department has been calling for to have uh, essentially uh, a Lebanese government without Hezbollah, which is a partner now in government. Um, it remains to be seen if that's possible, if there is a will within Lebanon for that to happen and if the Israelis would even agree with it. But there is a, a growing call internationally for a ceasefire, especially after uh, repeated attacks on UN peacekeepers in the south who are there to try to keep a lid on conflicts that are just happening behind me over the border uh, in control. Um, wide condemnation uh, on Israel's attacks on those peacekeepers. Another person was shot, another peacekeeper was shot today, uh, just today, this Saturday. Yes, yeah, Sam, so you're in Haifa, Israel. What exactly is the mood like on the ground there? Yeah, there's really a somber, quiet um, uh, trepidation. This is a, a high holiday, Yom Kippur, and people are not in the streets. Uh, it's, it's empty. It's quiet. It's a, it's a, it's a holiday of self-reflection, but everybody is worried about what is coming and what has happened, uh, what is going to happen. There's 180 rockets fired today, 200 yesterday. I mean, everybody's uh, fully expecting for Israel to re respond to an earlier Iranian missile attack with a retaliatory strike, perhaps in Iran. And so everybody is uh, worried about the future um, and the idea being that the worst is yet to come. And it is not a question of if but when, when violence will once again mar the sky behind me. And, and by the way, while the streets are quiet and people are with their families, we can hear warplanes above, drones, uh, and up and down the border I've been seeing uh, helicopter gunships firing in coordination with artillery uh, to help those ground forces as they operate just inside Lebanon, uh, just across the border. Yeah, Sam, really, the fear is that this, is, this could become a wider regional conflict. Thank you for that report. Live from Haifa, Israel, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.